Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I'm continuing my playthrough of Loop Hero. And there's been some highs and lows in the past videos. And I kind of want to show y'all the current state of things. And then I'm going to share with you my diabolical plan. Alright, so build-wise, I ran into some problems. First, I ran into a problem with the smelter. What happened with the smelter is I built it like this is the refuge and apparently the refuge has to be built near the campfire and so the problem I ran into is I built a smelter in a place that I needed to build a supply depot I think yeah I think it was a supply depot and the problem was that I had to destroy the smelter and you don't get back all the resources when you remove a building. So I'm currently down one smelter. But build wise, what I did do is, so I gotta rebuild the smelter, which I'm just a little bit short to do that. What I did manage to do though, is I finally managed to build the river, which unlocks the river card. And my plan for this time, what I wanna do is expedition wise, you see I got the river card. And the river doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. So my thought is this. What I want to do is I'm going to add the forest and the, and the river. And I'm going to keep the bookery. I'm going to keep the blood grove. Keep the battlefield. Keep the spiders. I'm debating about, I guess, maybe keep the village. Actually, let's go with the cemetery. So I'm going to have all those and... I'm going to keep, hmm, do I keep the Temporal Beacon? I'm going to get rid of the Temporal Beacon and see where that stands, see, see where that leaves us. And I lost the thing that lets me start with weapon, well, with the extra weapon slot, unfortunately. So I'm not going to start with either of the gold cards. And my plan is this, I'm going to play chapter two with the warrior. And what I want to do is I want to see exactly, I want to see if I can build like a vampirism, like high attack speed warrior and see how that does. Now, the other thing I want to do is what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to spread everything out around here. Now, this square and this square, these two squares here and these two squares here will both be able to be attacked by my four watchtowers, my four upgraded watchtowers from the campfire. So I'm going to maybe load these two up and load these two up. And it looks like what I could probably do is if I put a grove here, I can put a blood grove here and that'll attack these hexes or these, these tiles. And Basically, I want to load up so I can I can take full advantage of my four archers. And beyond that, I'm just going to try and stretch things out and farm for resources. So, I don't think I'm going to mess with any forests at all. I think I'm going to use the meadows. Ooh, a bookery. I'm going to... My plan is that what I'm going to do is... Let's see, for the bookery... Where do I want to put the bookery? I could put the bookery here and get it really quickly upgraded. Because you'll, you know, you'll lose nine a turn. So I'll put the bookery there. And then see how that goes. Now, with this, I think what I'm going to do right now... Well, actually, let's, let's run through and see how amazing our three hits of the bookery works out. So I definitely want... I'm going to put a... If I put a battlefield here, then these two squares will be affected and we'll be able to shoot it with the thing. And it'll also let me maybe put a battlefield in this little alcove if I wanted to. I don't know, we can see. But this, this, the battlefield here would definitely get attacked by the crossbowmen. So what I want to do is I'm going to run through at least this first little bit before I start any fast forwarding. And as you can see, the four crossbowmen make pretty short work of whatever's on that particular square. 
And as you can see, because they're upgraded, they'll be able to shoot at the chest too. Like right here. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop after the first bookery hit and see if I want to use this. Oh, it hurts to lose the Oblivion, but what the heck. Ooh, Blood Grove. All right, so the Blood Grove is definitely going to be nice. So I'm going to put a Grove here, and I'll put a Blood Grove here, and i got to throw a spider somewhere. Maybe I could put the spider here? If I put the spider, put the spider right here, it'll get shot at by the, by the, the crossbowman, and also the Blood Grove will hit it. Okay, that looks pretty good. And so, ooh, we got another spider. So ideally what I want to do is if I put this spider right here, it'll the spiders will pop out there. So the snipers will be able to hit it. It's not exactly what I consider perfect positioning, but not too bad. And I'm going to save... I'm going to save this stuff until I get a river going because I want to see if I can double the if I want to double the, the thickets so I can have some super fast attacks. Oh, that's my first vampirism. So let's see. Do I get any vampirism? I get one. Ah, that's about right. I'm doing not that much damage. So let's check out when we get to... Well, well we should be there in just a moment. So when we get to... When we get up to here... We can see the crossbowmen in action and watch them just kind of gun their way through everybody. And then after that, I think what we'll do is we'll just let it run for a while and see where we stand after a few loops through. I am I'm finding I'm really enjoying Loop Hero in that there's lots of little there's lots of little optimizations you can do. Like for example, they pretty much just gun down the spiders really fast. And so do I want a grove? I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to. So that goes there. So if I put a grove here, I can put a blood grove there. And that'll cover both those areas. Yeah, I'll do that. Put a, gro put a grove there. And do I have any upgrade? Ah, oh, there we go. That's kind of nice. So. Blood Grove can go here or there. I'll put it here. So it overlaps that. And then I put a battlefield here. Put a battlefield here. You know, put a battlefield here. Actually, this is probably the way to go. If I put a battlefield right here, I'll get the overlap there and it'll put out the chests. So let's go with that. And so that gives us the blood path, which gives us the extra blood clots, which will be hopefully helpful. Now, I'm going to, before I run into my chain of... So here's the question, though. Where do I want my river to go? Because I want stuff on either side of the river to benefit from it. Maybe I'll put the treasury over this way. I'll do treasuries over here, and I'll do a big river over there. See how it goes. All right, so again, we get to see the crossbowmen in action. And they do make pretty short work of things. And that is a definite upgrade. And we get a little vampirism. So we're sitting at 16% vampirism, which isn't terrible. And that's about it. Oh, wow. Huh. All right. So that was interesting. So books are bad? Hmm. That's kind of painful. All right. So lesson learned there, I guess. 
So, let's see. Can we build anything? Still no smelter. What do we need? Is that orb? Oh, we just need stable metal? Oh, well, that's a bunch of stuff, I guess. Hmm. Can't build anything else. Does that interfere at all with the forest? Does not seem to. Maybe we should build some forests. Let's build some forests. Build some forests around the lumberjack thing. All right. So let's try that again. Let's try the expedition again. And let's get rid of the bookery. The bookery seems to hate us. Also... Oh, that explains why the river never came up. Yeah, that's good to know. I was wondering why I never got a river. All right, so, yeah, that was dumb. Anyway, all right, so let's try this again. This time with a river in our decks. Super exciting. All right, I'm going to pretty much start off the same way as before. So I'm going to commence the fast forwarding right here and then we'll see how things go.